with this week's edition of Tiger's Roar. I'm Tommy Christ, and along with Jordy Holtberg. And hello, August. August is here. That? Football is here, right? Counting down the days. Saints in training camp. LSU reporting this weekend, and away we go. And a big, big uh, day for LSU. They get a commitment from Kentwood over there uh, in, in Tangible Hope Parish, a four-star wide receiver, Trey Palmer. And Jordy, I, I, <laughs> you and I were talking earlier. People overreact a little bit to this. Okay, he's a good player. He's one of the top players. That's fine, but he hadn't caught a pass yet. But social media just blew up earlier today. It's uh, it's a slow time of the year. So they build their enthusiasm up, and recruiting has become uh, a fabric of of this society now with all the sites. And, of course, we're going to talk with Mike Scarborough uh, about stuff like that. So, yeah, but – I don't think he's got. I don't think he's Jerry Rice just yet, folks. Well, but anyway, LSU reports on Friday, August third, Saturday, August fourth. They'll start practicing. There's no fan day. There's no media day. They uh, whacked all that last year and not going to have it this year. Fan day. They do something at the spring game. Yeah. Uh, or, or parallel it's to not that. Enough, there's not enough time now with all the. Uh, you know, the season's about 30 days away. Um, you know, they, they got a lot of stuff to do to get ready for Miami. Well, and social media has changed that. I mean, we saw social media basically eliminate the Tiger Gridiron Club's recruiting bash, okay, and the early signing period factored into that as well. But with, with everybody connected on Twitter now and social media, I mean, you're going to, like, I mean, the other day I'm following Sean Fazan of Fox 8 Sports TV in, in New Orleans at Saints practice, and, like, I'm getting video of every play. I'm, uh, he's making every comment. It's almost like I was sitting at the Saints practice facility. Obviously, I was not. It's, that's just the way of the world. Man. I don't know how you watch and, te- and do all that at the same time. Well, I don't know how you do it. guys are pros. I know. It, man. Hey, I, that, man. Welcome to the world. we got to coach you up a Far little bit. Far better than I. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. But, but as Jordy said uh, on this program last week, you really got to wait till September the 2nd because that's when the curtain will come back. And that's when we're going to know all the questions that will get asked dozens of times between now and then. We'll know who the quarterback is or isn't. We'll know who the running back is or isn't. We'll know who the wide receivers are. And we'll know if they can play or not. It's simple. That's what happens so when you, you have, play against. You have more patience than some of the passionate Tiger fans. I, I have I've been through this stuff. And I have participated in this stuff. And I have... You know, I have I've been a player that has been waiting for a season to open, and I know what you have to go through to get to that point, and I know that it's a you know the new term is process, and the, what you look like September second, hopefully you're not going to look that way come November. You're going to be better, so it's a constant progression. We'll see. Well, and there's a lot of work to be done for Ooh. LSU football uh, at this point with, with so many questions. We we could we could <laughs> hash them all over, but you know them: quarterback, running back, wide receiver. Depth on the offensive line. Defense going to be a strong suit to this I, team. I spoke with Clyde edwards uh, who who might be the starting running back, but he's certainly going to be in the rotation. I said, okay, uh, Clyde, uh, who's the starting quarterback going to be? And he laughed. He said, that, that's the Coach O decision. <laughs> I said, very well done. Oh, they're coached they're up. Very well done. He, he was coached up yeah. on that. So, so we uh, got laughing and we talked a little bit. So I said, uh, Clyde, uh, come on, guess swing you. Who, who's the quarterback going to be? Uh, that's a Coach O decision. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so there's going to be a lot again. of stuff. Uh, follow your favorite source. We'll be here each and every Wednesday night uh, for you with Tiger's Roar. And also, it's available at YouTube the next day in case you miss it. There are replays Friday night at 7, Saturday morning at 10 on Pelican Sports TV. Of course, that's where you get all your hunting and your fishing and your outdoor programming mixed in with all the local stuff. So uh, a, a lot of work in front of Ed Orgeron and his football team. I, I've, I've seen this a couple of times, but there is no middle ground uh, as far as LSU fans and their thoughts about this upcoming season. Either they're going to be really good and surprise a lot of people, or they're going to be way down low. There, there's not that many people that are going to say, oh, nine wins, eight wins. It's either ten or it's six. Well, and of course, the media, we'll see. you know, the media doesn't have a, a great record for picking the winner of the Southeastern Conference. I uh, think I could pick it this year. Days. But this year, albeit, you know, LSU is picked fifth. A lot of people were hoping for fourth. Maybe they could have snuck in the third. LSU ends up as the fifth pick in the Western Division. Uh, so, Motivation. you know, behind Texas Motivation. A&M, who hasn't beaten them in forever. So, you, you see the Tigers and uh, uh, LSU's got Georgia and Florida from the east on the rotation this year. They're pick one and three, respectively. But you got all, Alabama, Auburn, Mississippi State, who beat LSU by 30 last year. A&M ahead 
of the Tigers, Ole Miss and Arkansas below them. So, uh, and just a, a footnote for you, Monday, I mean, uh, in the ACC, Miami was picked to win their division. Yes. Eh, we'll see. Uh, preseason polls will be out uh in the coming weeks, and, and you're going to get plenty of LSU football. You're certainly going to get it here. You'll also get the Pelican Sports post game show immediately following all the LSU games with Buddy Sanji and myself. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. we got some Tiger football players making some comments for you. That'll be up next. Still to come, Mike Scarborough, TigerBait.com. It's a whole new world for TigerBait.com today. We're going to tell you all about that as well. Right after this pause, Jordy Holtberg, Tommy Chrysan, Pelican Sports TV, spread the roar. You're watching Tiger's Roar. Stay with us. Hello. Hola. Ni hao. Experience what the Baton Rouge International School can offer your children. Now welcoming displaced students for short and long-term stability. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 800-383-8177. 800-383-8177. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what we were trying to do, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. Not showing up on time, not answering the phone, somebody running with your money. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy plank or siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. Service is everything we have. It's the foundation of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right, Over 60% of our customers is customer referral. We're a local company here in Baton Rouge, built in Baton Rouge, staying in Baton Rouge. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. It's built the old fashioned way, with a handshake. Here at Relief Windows, it's honored to be official window door and signing company of LSU Athletics from one winning team to another. This is an important medical announcement for anyone who has taken the chemotherapy drug Taxotere. If you or a loved one has developed alopecia or hair loss after taking the breast cancer drug Taxotere, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. While many chemotherapy drugs can cause temporary hair loss, Taxotere can cause permanent, irreversible loss of hair on the head, eyebrows, eyelashes, beard, and body. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential and you may be eligible. You may not have been warned about the side effects of Taxotere. Your consultation is free. Call the Drug Watch hotline if you or a loved one has experienced permanent hair loss as a result of the chemotherapy drug Taxotere. But you must call now. Call 800-794-0738. 800-794-0738. We can 
continue with Tiger's Road. Jordy Holmberg, Tommy Chrysler. Coming up in a little bit, Mike Scarborough, TigerBait.com. It's a whole new world <laughs> at TigerBait.com. It looks fantastic. I've already flipped my membership and uh, ready to go. All right, we're going to revisit some comments from LSU's key football players from the SEC Media Days to help you get ready for the Tigers who begin practice this weekend. Here are some of your LSU football Tiger players. need to do to get over the hump against Alabama? What we need to do is um, we in, in the past what I've seen is we've always really really hyped up that game. <clears throat> from, from a team standpoint that's I mean in the past that's kind of been the, the circle that's kind of been the circled game on our schedule um, and I think from a mental standpoint we need to treat that like we treat any other game. We need to go into that week with the same mindset, or else it'll just become it'll become too big. It'll become too big for us, and we'll be overwhelmed by by what happens. I think, and what we did last year, I think we're getting closer. We've we've been getting closer over the years to not making it such a such a big deal and and kind of hype it up as much as we always have. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes this year. I love that game. It's a great game because it's, it's college football at its highest level, and I can't wait for it. Dermoro, what is he like off the field? You know, any stories, his personality? What's he like to be around? Well, he's not a great person to be around because he's too smart. <laughs> He uses big words all the time that you don't know what they mean. I'm pretty sure Michael Bunnett and them told him, do not come up here talking like this because y'all would be fascinated by how he can talk. So we got to get him to tone it down a little bit. And I hate when he do that to me because, you know, he went to a very nice school in New Orleans, Jesuit, and I know they has a real good education system there. And I think that's the number one thing I can say about him. But, you know, other than that, his, his work ethic, you know, he's a guy that didn't have it all in high school. He wasn't the All-American. He was just telling me how he didn't even make All-State. But if you look at him now and look at what he has accomplished at LSU, you would have never knew because of the work ethic that the guy has. So I think, you know, he get overshadowed by a lot of people. But, you know, in the end, he, gonna, he, he about to wake some people up because, you know, he's been working extremely hard. I think the strengths of this defense this year will be about takeaways. We want to get the ball you know, to our offense so they can make a lot of plays because we expect the offense to make a lot of plays this year, you know, with Coach Ensminger, you know, him being a, you know, fellow LSU quarterback. So, you know, he knows what it takes and he knows what to do, you know. So we want to stride ourselves on uh, takeaways and being dominant for five quarters. Five quarters. Five. That means um, you never know what's, what's going to happen in the game. So it, it's – you don't want to leave that extra inch out there because that extra inch can lose or win you the game. So we want to just go hard every play. You know, we want to play the, the last snap like it's the first snap with that amount of energy, you know, enthusiasm. And we want to do, continue to do that. And if it go in the overtime, we'll be ready because, you know, we don't fought hard all night long. And we have a great room this year. I feel like this is probably the best defensive line as far as just a brotherhood that I've been on, been a part of, um, starting with Braden Fajoko, he is a guy that came in and from day one he's worked his butt off. Uh, he's played significant snaps at Texas Tech and he was a very good football player. So to get him is great. Um, Neil Farrell is a guy that people don't know a lot about, but are going to see who he is. He's a guy that's strong. He's tough, he's physical, and he has a chip on his shoulder just to show people that he's a great football player. Um, Glenn Logan, my roommate, he's a guy that's transformed his body into, man, he looks good. Um, he's in the best shape he's ever been in, and he has a chance to get significant snaps. And in the middle of our defense, the heart and soul, Rougarou, Ed Alexander, he's a guy that's played significant snaps for us. and. Uh, He's going to be good. Uh, you know what to expect from him, a guy that's big and dominant. And the younger guys, Chasen Hines, Dominique Livingston, Davin Cotton, I can go on and on about these guys. They've came in from day one and not said much. They've kept their mouth shut and just worked. And that's good to see because nothing's going to be given to them or any of us. But for them, they're working very hard. So I think we'll be able to rotate in two and three deep and be a great group.
Live. We continue with Bag and Draw here on Pelican Dapper, Sports TV. Dapper, they all TV. look good. They all look good. Very look well, good, very good. well represented. Spoke very well. That's good. And I, I don't know if it's, I should say, I'm going to say it anyway. Go ahead. Yeah, they, they, and it's part of the learning process of being a student athlete in SEC. They work with those guys in dealing with the media, yes. whether it's a writer, an internet guy, TV, radio. They, a, but that's part of it because it's going to help them when they get out, when, if they have a job or they have to speak in front of people or they go on a job sure. interview. It's, it's part of the process. All the schools I wish, do it. I wish they had done that when I was playing. They didn't do that. But Dr. Tommy Karam does But you didn't they, have all the... Dr. Tommy Karam does a terrific job, but we had print, we had television, we had all that stuff, so uh, it's all relative to the times, but it's great that they do it, and you learn a lot about it, you learn how to handle yourself. Thumbs up, Dr. Tommy Karam. Yeah, so that's and good. And, uh, and, and they, they work with all the coaches, too, because the coaches also have to, you know, and they, they, want, they want the coaches and players to look good, because you never know who's watching. You know, another student athlete say, man, them guys look sound smart, no sharp. Question. I want to be there. No or question. the coach comes off very well. That's going to be, you know, a, a plus as well as opposed to coming off, you know, not good. Always about preparation. They, 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 know what, all, huh? they, they anticipate what type of questions are going to be asked. And as they're going from the office to the venue, it's going over in their mind again and again and again. How am I going to respond and how am I going to answer this the best exudes the mission statement of LSU. And that's it. We're going to take a break when we come back. Mike Scarborough, TigerBait.com. He's got a huge announcement. You've probably seen it today on social media or heard it on the radio. It's been all over WUBR 9, 10 a.m. But we'll be joined by Mike after this pause here on Tiger's Roar, Pelican Sports TV. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Jordy Heltberg for Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market at 12451 Old Jefferson Highway. Chairman's Reserve Steaks, their pork, their chicken, their seafood, top of the line. Primo barbecue pits, icy tech coolers. They can go anywhere and cater anything for you. Go to 751-7665 to call Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market, where good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market. Are you ready for this year's formal events? It's weddings, homecoming, Mardi Gras, prom, pageants. Debbie's Bridal is having an inventory blowout sale. Don't be left out. Prices range from 20% off to 80% off. Happening now. Debbie's Bridal, Burnside in Gonzales. Attention. Do you have chronic back pain, knee pain, or arthritis? If you have Medicare or private insurance like Aetna, United Healthcare, Humana, or Blue Cross, you may qualify for a safe, drug free remedy for your everyday back and knee pain, but you must call now. The call and consultation are free, and you may be eligible for a pain relieving back or knee brace at little or no cost to you. These pain relief braces are ideal for back pain, arthritis, sciatica, leg pain, knee pain and other painful conditions that make life difficult. Don't suffer needlessly. Our associates will work directly with Medicare or your insurance company for free. Your knee or back brace will be delivered directly to your door. Imagine playing with your grandkids or enjoying tennis or golf again. Call the National Knee and Back Brace Center to qualify for your Medicare or insurance covered knee or back brace. Call 800-560-3392, 800-560-3392. It's time to find out the truth about health insurance. True or false? I can't get health insurance because I missed the open enrollment period. False. If you had a life change, such as moving, getting married, having a child or a job loss, you are eligible to buy a new policy. I don't have a life-changing event, so I can't get health insurance. False. You can purchase affordable short-term policies even if it's not open enrollment. I have to spend hours shopping around for an insurance policy that's right for me. False. Call Healthcare will connect you with licensed agents that do the work for you, comparing hundreds of options, making sure you get a policy that fits all your needs at the best price. Call now and we'll connect you to a licensed agent that will answer all your questions. The call and the service are free, so what are you waiting for? Call Healthcare, getting the coverage you need at a price you can afford. 
Call now. Representatives are standing by to assist you. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we get back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. For total home pest control, who are you going to call? Call the bug man, 923-BUG. For total pest control for your home or business, call the original Salvat. Call the bug man today, 923-BUGS. We continue with Tiger's Roar as we roll into the month of August and it's a really big day for our good friend Mike Scarborough and TigerBait.com and we've got Mike on the line as we always do. Mike. Busy man. How are you this evening? A little busy? A little tired? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think I've had three pieces of pizza in 24 hours. So it's... <laughs> You're back in college again. Watch out. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been absolutely crazy. But, Mike. Uh, Mike, tell us all about the new look, the, the new everything with TigerBait.com, effective right now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this has been uh, uh, multiple years, uh, you know, talking to uh, our, our guys at F5 Sports. If you go to TigerBait.com, you look at the site, you see the features, you see how crisp everything looks. We get our text alerts back. We're going to be able to send you newsletters. We're giving $1 subscriptions right now. So... Uh, and if you get on with us uh, initially and you sign up for an annual, a paid annual subscription, you become a part of our founder program, uh, which gives you a special insignia, is a founding member of the new TigerBait.com. And the site's absolutely loaded, and I've got, uh, you know, probably another eight to a dozen stories that are going to be posted. So it's, it's, been, it's been a whirlwind, and we're absolutely excited. Our users that have come on board immediately are just, uh, amazed at all the, the features that this new website platform has for, t for our LSU community. Mike, let, let's pretend somebody watching Tiger's Roar right now has never visited TigerBait.com. Give them in a nutshell what they're going to get well, when they're a subscriber to TigerBait.com. Well, look, uh, we've got Brian Lazar, of course, uh, with us. We've got multiple uh, features breaking down uh, the start of, of fall camp, uh, questions leading in. Uh, to what we're what, the answer the questions that have to be answered with the start of fall camp this weekend. Uh, loads of recruiting. I've got uh, uh, basketball recruiting video. Uh, Jalen Cook, the point guard from Walker. We got exclusive video of him in action throughout all the tournaments uh, this spring and, and summer. Um, Cardell Thomas. We got an exclusive interview with him. Uh, of course, Trey Palmer's commitment. Uh, and uh, uh, so much more. All day chat uh, is going, and we'll, we do that every Wednesday. And um, you, you'll see it on the front page, our welcome page, and it'll walk you through the process. If you're an LSU fan, I, I think uh, you try us out for a dollar, you, you'll, be, uh, you'll be with us for a long time. Mike Scarborough, TigerBait.com. You mentioned Trey Palmer committing the wide receiver from Tangipahoa Parish uh, in Kentwood. How big of a deal? Uh, is that after they heard the news that um, John Emery Jr. was leaving, going to committing to Georgia? Uh, it's a roller coaster ride with recruiting. How big of a deal is the Trey Palmer commitment? I, I think it's a real big deal. You know, everybody knows what's uh, the issues that have been going on in the, in the Florida parishes with LSU and, and fighting for re recruits there. Um, you know, Trey's been a, a lean to LSU for quite some time. Uh, you know, to give Coach Orgeron his commitment this morning was, was absolutely huge. I think the trend for Sopcher and Lee, uh, you know, uh, is, is also very good for LSU. 
you know, obviously losing Emery uh, is is a, is a blow, but I still maintain that uh, that's not over, is it? it, it it's not over, but it, it's, it, that's a toughie because every time I've talked to him, I, I, I've never gotten the impression that he was uh, all that enamored with staying home. Um, I mean, we thought there for a while leading up to what he did this past weekend uh, for several weeks that he was trending LSU. Uh, but when he goes to Georgia and he's got uh, family, an extended family, on the visit weekend with him, and, you know, Kirby Smarts, uh, like Jimbo Fisher, from that Nick Saban uh, recruiting model and the way they do things and what they're selling and, um, you know, their classes uh, in the top three in the country, um, you know, Plus, LSU's already got a running back committed in Terry and Davis. Um, you know, it just it, – it, I think that's going to be a tough one. So, uh, Noah Kane, of course, from IMG, is the other back on the board. There's another kid in Texas that, uh, you know, could come into play. They'll continue to recruit Emory. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I, I think that's going to be a tough one, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I, they're really going to have to get after him about the, the number of backs at Georgia on that roster. Yeah. Um, and, and, and stay on him. But, you know, kind of I, I think if, 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 if they're going to have any hopes, they're going to have to kind of maybe do like they did with Jamar Chase last year. Just really mm-hmm. stay with him. Don't put the pressure. And, and then maybe at the end you'll end up getting your guy. I don't know about you guys. I never thought we'd be talking about a need for running backs at LSU, but that's, that's where we are. I noticed also uh, what arguably many think is the best quarterback in the state of Louisiana has decommitted from his prior choice, uh, Lance Lejean. Is that correct? Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, you know, certainly LSU is aware of him. They're gonna they're gonna watch him. Um, you know, obviously got Parrish committed. Uh, I don't know that they would make a move on Lejean. And and you know, of all the quarterbacks I saw this year that LSU had on campus, that I saw it at, at combines and so forth. It's a real thin year at that spot. Plus, you have Finley committed uh, for 20. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if they would take a second quarterback. Of course, you know, let, let's see how the, the fall camp shakes out for LSU and, and what that position looks like once the dust settles on uh, Brennan, Narcisse, McMillan, uh, and Burrow. Do you s- maybe, they, maybe they might opt for a second one. Every word I've gotten, Mike, is that the quarterbacks are sticking around at LSU. Do you still believe that, or do you think the fall? What, when is the cutoff date for a, for like a, a Justin McMillan maybe, uh, for him to say, you know what, I'm well, third well, or fourth in the pecking order. I, I'm going to go transfer. Reporting yeah, date. You know what is that date? You know, report, we, how, if he doesn't how, report. You know, is it just enrolling in school and stepping think, in the classroom? I think that's what you know, it what, is. What, what is that cutoff date? Where I think, if they say, okay, no, I, I'm. I'm actually uh, yeah. thinking I'm, I'm going to see if I can get somewhere else in a hurry. I think there's a couple of weeks of practice, and then uh, enrolling in school is is the cutoff date. So yeah. uh, and, we'll and, have to wait well, and see. And Andor, if he's going to leave, he's got to enroll somewhere else because he right. did graduate. So right. yeah, yeah. And, right. but you know, it's like we look at it that way. But you know, there's also other factors. Is their girlfriends? Where are they at as far as getting their degree? Well, he graduated. Uh, you know, where, how are they at in school? How you know? Yeah. You know, where would they go? Who wants them? You That's know? a great point. Or who needs them? All right. That's yeah. a great hey, point. Hey, Mike, uh, all this recruiting never stops. People can keep up with it at TigerBait.com. Once again, I know you're busy, but I want you to once again tell us all about the all-new website and how people need to get there right now. Yeah, go to TigerBait.com. Take, get, take a look. Uh, try us out for the $1. We're giving, you get, uh, get the, the site for 1 buck. I think if you get on the site and see all the features and the capability of it, uh, sign up for the text alerts, how well it, it operates on your cell phone. It's quick to load. Uh, and I don't suspect we're going to have any signing day outages on this new platform. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I, I've never asked you this question. It, it's, it's such a the perfect name for, for a site, tigerbait.com. Where did you come up with tigerbait? You know, it was one of those deals initially wanting to come up with a URL uh, in the early 2000s, and um, a, a guy in Slidell had registered it. I had to buy it from him. Huh. There was some negotiation over a period of time. Huh. I got it, and 
Uh, you know, you start coming up with names and writing them down on a legal pad, and one by one, I mean, it's, there wasn't really a whole lot that uh, had any ring to it. Um, you know, if you really break it down, how many actual ch- uh, sayings are there for LSU? I mean, Tiger Bay just made sense to yeah, me. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Mike, we know you're real busy. We'll visit again next week. And uh, TigerBait.com is luck. looking great. Good luck, my friend. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. When we're going to take a break and we come back, we're going to visit with a guy on the LSU coaching staff that doesn't visit with the media a lot. Defensive coordinator Dave Aranda. He visits, Don't go anywhere. He visits the Saints a lot. That's what it's all about. Right yeah. after this pause on Smart. Tiger's Roar. Stay with us. This is an important medical announcement for anyone who has taken the chemotherapy drug Taxotere. If you or a loved one has developed alopecia or hair loss after taking the breast cancer drug Taxotere, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. While many chemotherapy drugs can cause temporary hair loss, Taxotere can cause permanent, irreversible loss of hair on the head, eyebrows, eyelashes, beard, and body. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential and you may be eligible. You may not have been warned about the side effects of Taxotere. Your consultation is free. Call the Drug Watch hotline if you or a loved one has experienced permanent hair loss as a result of the chemotherapy drug Taxotere. But you must call now. Call 800-794-0738. 800-794-0738. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. Creel Tree Service is a licensed and insured tree service providing tree and stump removal, topping, trimming, cabling, pruning, and fertilizing. We have free stump removal with takedowns, free estimates, affordable rates, and senior citizens discounts. Call 774-TREE. That's 774-8733. Get your yard ready for the warmer weather. If it deals with a tree, call me, Creel Tree Service, 774-8733. That's 774-TREE. Are you ready for this year's formal events? Weddings, homecoming, Mardi Gras, prom, pageants. Debbie's Bridal is having an inventory blowout sale. Don't be left out. Prices range from 20% off to 80% off. Happening now. Debbie's Bridal, Burnside in Gonzales. We continue with Tiger's Roar here on a Wednesday evening. Replays Friday and Saturday. We're available on YouTube.com slash Pelican Broadcasting. And, you know, Jordy, we're about to roll into the 12th year of Tiger's Roar and the Pelican Sports Post Game Show as the, the Pelican Broadcasting, mm-hmm. the Pelican people always reaching out. we got out some new things coming and, up, and don't we? in different directions, yeah. been in and out. So we love music on around here. We're going on the uh, road. Let's just say they got some exciting news coming very soon uh, from the world of Pelican Broadcasting. A great place for families and people to go. I don't want to give you too much right now. I just want to tease you. Roadshow. Roadshow. This is a tease. But, uh, you know, Pelican uh, loves the world of music and sports and everything. And 
coming soon. Trust me, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be the best thing to hit Baton Rouge in a very, very long time. And in the coming weeks, we'll have more information about that. Dave Aranda, defensive coordinator uh, for the LSU Tigers, doesn't talk to the media a whole lot, but he attended some Saints practices last we week. We don't and care. We caught up with him a little bit, and he's trying to make his football team better. Here's Tiger defensive coordinator Dave Aranda. Welcome back, LSU defensive coordinator Dave Aranda on the practice field today. Dave, great to see you, by the way. Oh, it's great to be here. The Saints have been great to us, so it's great to have the invite to come down. Are you, are you technically back to work, or do no. you call it practice day one, which would be a little bit over a week now? No, yeah, we're out. Um, this next week is uh, the coaches are in, and the players have a little bit of time off, and then we come back Friday, um, and we start it up on Saturday. So we've got a, about five days or so to get going. Dave, when you come to an NFL practice like this, what, what are you looking for? Is there something in, in your brain that, that has a, a, a list per se of I need to check this and this and this, or do you let it come to you? What do you take away from these things? No, well, there's defenses that you know are being run, and so you want to be able to see adjustments and, and um, the language that's being said. And you know, We're doing the same thing. Is there a better way to say it? Is there a better way to rep it when you're watching it repped on film? Is there a better way to teach it when you're watching the individual individual drills? So like the scheme is one thing, but then you can pick up also as a coach like how uh, Coach Allen kind of handles the group or how uh, Coach Nolan uh, in interjects and gets coaching points in and out. And can you think of something in your coaching career that you saw in a practice that you studied and, and incorporated into your daily routine with your guys? Oh, can you yeah. think of anything in particular? Oh, yeah. You know, the, um, I remember I, I visited in Baltimore Ravens, and it was Coach Nolan, and Brian Billick was the head coach at the time. And so I remember I'm on, I'm, um, I'm on the sidelines there, and Coach Billick came up and talked about uh, a technique that Ray Lewis uses, and I never heard of that technique. And then I talked to Coach Noel about it. Oh yeah, and then we ended up putting it in at Houston, and that helped us. But that was just a side conversation. And so there's always, when you're around football, there's always things you can take from it. Keep your eyes wide open. Dave, we got a couple of Tigers on the Saints preseason roster. I know they played on the other side of the ball as you, but you know what can you share about a guy like Will Clapp or Traven Durrell? Well, Will is very intelligent. He's very tough. I mean, Will, um, the last two years I was there, made all of our calls up front. And so he was able to, to see stuff that was coming. He was able to be in the film room with our online coach and our offensive coordinator. And, and he was more or less an OC on the field in terms of his communication. And then, you know, when you watch him run and open up, I mean, he can, he can uh, reach a linebacker that's a 30 on the other side of it. And so it's a lot of positive things. And then you know, Traven's got great ability to uh, make plays in space. And he's got great length. And so this, I mean, I'm really proud of the, of the two Tigers that we have here. What are you excited about? about this year's edition of that side of the football and what's still keeping you up at night here a week away from training camp? Well, I'm excited about the returners that we've got. I think we've got some people that have played some, some football coming back, which is nice to have. And so the, there's a great um, a familiar, uh, familiar uh, approach between the players and the coaches, between the players and the calls that we have and the adjustments that we have. They know kind of where we're coming from. And so I think that's, that's, a, that's a strength. We can add more and do a little bit more because of that. So I'm excited about that. I think the stuff that's going to be concerning to see kind of as it goes is the depth in the back end. I think we've got a lot of, we've got great ability there. Just there's guys that haven't played. And so to, to put them in as much game-like situations as possible and create really good depth in terms of roles for guys, that's going to, that's going to be a little bit of a wait and see. Coach, great to have you here on our campus today. Good luck to you guys starting next week. Appreciate it. Thank you. One quick footnote. Shortly after that was taped, Draven Durrell did break his arm mm -hmm. uh, between the elbow and the shoulder. That's... Not good. He's going to miss significant time. But I love, uh, I love that. That's the most comprehensive uh, thing I've ever heard from Coach A. Oh, it was very good. I very like good. That. Very impressed. Glad, we're glad we could share that with you. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to tell you all about our radio station, which is going full speed ahead with coverage of everything that's happening. And we're going to hear some uh, conversation from Sean Payton about the New Orleans Saints, who are expected to be very, very good this year, and they're confident. We will uh, have all of that for you when we return after this pause on Tiger's Roar on Pelican Sports TV, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, New Orleans. Stay with us.
Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hi, I'm Jordy Helper for Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market at 12451 Old Jefferson Highway. Chairman's Reserve Steaks, their pork, their chicken, their seafood, top of the line. Primo barbecue pits, icy tech coolers. They can go anywhere and cater anything for you. Go to 751-7665 to call Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market, where good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market. It's time to find out the truth about health insurance. True or false? I can't get health insurance because I missed the open enrollment period. False. If you had a life change such as moving, getting married, having a child or a job loss, you are eligible to buy a new policy. I don't have a life-changing event, so I can't get health insurance. False. You can purchase affordable short-term policies even if it's not open enrollment. I have to spend hours shopping around for an insurance policy that's right for me. False. Call Healthcare will connect you with licensed agents that do the work for you, comparing hundreds of options, making sure you get a policy that fits all your needs at the best price. Call now and we'll connect you to a licensed agent that will answer all your questions. The call and the service are free, so what are you waiting for? Call Healthcare, getting the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call now. Representatives are standing by to assist you. Are you ready for this year's formal events? It's weddings, homecoming, Mardi Gras, prom, pageants. Debbie's Bridal is having an inventory blowout sale. Don't be left out. Prices range from 20% off to 80% off. Happening now. Debbie's Bridal, Burnside in Gonzales. Cypress Lake Apartments are conveniently located off Segan Lane in Baton Rouge, a CLK multifamily management property. Come see this community which has many amenities including swimming pools, fitness room, playground and much more. One, two and three bedroom apartments. Stop by Cypress Lake Apartments, call 225-293-6789 or go online, live at cypresslakeapts.com. Continue with Tigers Roy. We're going to get you some Sean Payton talking about his Saints football team when we come back. A special announcement to wrap up this program. Don't go anywhere. Big announcement after Sean Payton of the New Orleans Saints. It's good to have Sean Payton here, head coach of the Saints, after a very wet 
practice in Metairie, third consecutive day in pads? Are you soaked, dude? Pretty much. <laughs> generally, listen, generally when it rains here, it comes with thunder and lightning and we go inside, obviously. Um, so we don't get many opportunities where, you know, you're working wet ball. A lot of what you do changes. And, and once a season, you find yourself in a half of football like this. You know, down in Tampa, at Carolina, I can remember games. And, you know, here in a couple of days, we had a wet ball drill scheduled, and then we just got it early today. But uh, it doesn't ha happen often when it's not with lightning or thunder. How did your team respond? I thought defensively we were, we, were, uh, we were good. Offensively, we had mistakes that just started compounding. And all of a sudden, one period bled to another. So, you know, half of those guys feel pretty good about the practice, and then the other half, you know, they'll look at the tape. Which is typical. Of it's training typical camp. Of training camp. Do you change your approach at all each and every day? Like do, going into a, today, do you say, you know what, I want to focus on this group, or you know maybe I need to work more with this group? One thing we'll try to do is the night before when we meet as a staff, you know I, I don't like just establish lineups and depth charts, so we'll try to rotate maybe a couple different receivers with that first group just so they get work with Drew the same way on defense. And this is the time where we have the reps to do that. Um, today was the first day for us working on third down. So there was a lot of third down, third and two to three, four to six. Um, but in fact, the last period was, was exclusively third down. Um, and we'll re repeat that again on Wednesday when they come back. Is that number two position at the wide receiver uh, position open? You know, we know Michael Thomas, is, he's the, a stud, he's the guy. But I noticed Ted is in there, but you have some additional guys, Cameron. Murray. Well, in each one, we, we've, our history here, we've played with four guys, possibly even five, and, and we'll rotate big groups in, we'll rotate speed groups in. Um, there, there's a vision we have with each of those players. There's some younger guys right now, Cam Meredith, who we acquired from the Bears, uh, is healthy and doing a good job coming off of uh, ACL rehab. Um, Traquan Smith, who we drafted this year, those those guys specifically you're wanting to see early growth from, and and then we've got three or four more guys uh, that that we think can can factor in, and I, I think the games will will end up giving them a chance to. Sean, for most coaches, the attitude, the motivation is, hey, no one thinks you're any good, right? Go out and prove that what they say is wrong. You're a little different this year. You're telling your team with all the hype, with the team you had last year with people talking Super Bowl in New Orleans, to prove them right. I love That's it. different. Well, look, you can, you can each year, you, you're going into a season, every team has hope right now. They have hope in the spring, the draft comes, uh, their, their fan base is excited because we truly are one of the sports where you can – make that leap very quickly with a good draft class. Last year, we drafted five players that ended up starting for us, and very quickly we went from being a 7-9 team to a team uh, that turned it around. Our salary cap uh, provides that balance, and I think every one of these guys has to understand, and, and our, especially the team leaders have to understand that, man, this is a process where you, you don't turn the page here from last year. You, you go back. Remember that game, Shoots and Ladders? And mm -hmm. when you hit a shoot and you came all the way, that's where we're at right now, right at the beginning with the dice. And, <laughs> and we haven't even taken our first turn again. We're looking back at the full board. you got to go five rows to get back up. Man, you went shoots and ladders and you went bachelor <laughs> yesterday. I mean, you're, you're going deep. You went bachelor to find a kick returner, and Alvin Kamara may yeah. get a rose. Listen, i got one right here. I mean, this guy, hey, he can return some kicks. No one ever asked him to. There's no, yeah. nothing that says he couldn't. But yeah. that's what this, this – uh, that's what the 90-man roster and the competition, uh, hopefully we can find that player. Your um, first-round pick, Marcus Davenport. Now, you guys moved up to get him. What have you seen in him, and what did you see in him that you guys felt like you needed to move up and grab him? Well, we, we knew we weren't going to get him where we were picking in the latter part of the first round. Um, we really liked his size, his length, his prototype, and there's a physical nature to how we felt he played. And when they played up in competition, um, you saw his game uh, go up. Now he's working more from a three-point. In college, there was a lot of two-point stance, stand-up technique. Um, I think Ryan Nielsen, our defensive line coach, and, and um, 
Brian Young that's working with him in his pass rush. Uh, we like this player. We like his size measurables, but we also like the, the physicality he plays. And we just know that position's always at a premium in our league, and it's hard to find in the offseason. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Kamara. Whether it's returning kicks or, or running the football, how much can you lean on him in September? How many carries is too many carries? Well, I, I think this, I really, I really liked his role a year ago. I mean, his role was expansive whether it was out of the backfield in the running game or uh, in the passing game or or really in the I formation in the running game. We'll use a lot of two back uh, offense. We, we still believe in a full back. Um, one of the things I would say with Alvin that was a little surprising, we had a vision when we drafted him uh, and I would say he kind of surprised us and everyone with some of the things he did between the tackles. You know, he was a better runner uh, than maybe we had expected. So uh, I want to be mindful of his role, understanding the length of the season. And I think really the onus falls on uh, the next back. And there's a group of them that are competing for those touches while Mark's out. And, you know, we haven't had any preseason games yet, but there's three, four guys that are out here that will be competing for that role. And I think that's important because I, I, I don't think changing Kamara's role uh, would be the wrong approach. I think it's interesting as we talk about your number two quarterback. We know what Drew Brees is mm -hmm. and what he's going to do for you. But I think finding a number two is very important. Yep. And you got a couple of guys, Tom Savage and obviously Taysom Hill. How do you see that second quarterback role take, uh, taking form? It's a good question. I mean, and they're two different players. So we're going to have a chance in this preseason when Drew's reps are finished to, to look at both of those players Taysom's a young player we acquired last year on the waiver wire from Green Bay. He's extremely athletic. You know, he was a 4-4-2 at the Combine. This, so this guy played in the kicking game last year um, where Tom is a, a guy that can beat you from the pocket. He's experienced. So it's up to us in the preseason to give them stuff that they do well and then try to assess, hey, you know, how do they fit uh, for our team this year? And look, there's that that assumption always you keep two maybe three uh, I think we got to pay attention if you if you get guys you like I think you got to protect them let's go back to Davenport here he, he clearly has the speed obviously you need a little more strength and, he, and you wanted him you traded that first round pick to get that pass rush the numbers last year for for the defense kind of middle of the pack but but middle of the pack with that offense can get it done how much better do you need your defense to be this year under Dennis I, Allen. Look, Andrew, I, I think two things. I, when when we've had a lot of success here, that giveaway takeaway stat comes up, and and that's that's going to be the case as long as we play this game with the current rules. So, the takeaways are important, and then I think the one area we're working on is eliminating some of the explosives that we gave up a year ago. Um, we did a lot of things well uh, in turning turning it around and. Dennis and those guys, we started the season 0-2 and, and then went on the road to Carolina and then over to London to get a win and then all of a sudden, you know, won eight in a row. I think the, the takeaways and then the situational defense, whether you're in the red zone or third down, th those are the things that separate you and then all of a sudden when the season's over with and you're trying to figure out how, how you won so many games, you're playing a complimentary game offensively as well as defensively. And your secondary is becoming one of the strengths of the team. Yeah, I, I would What agree. do you see from that, that safety position? Because you've got some guys back there now. You brought in Kirk Coleman. You've got some guys back there that are competing and that can play at a high level. Well, the two players we've drafted, Vaughn Bell a few years ago, and then uh, Marcus Williams last year, he had a tremendous rookie year. He, he's got uh, special ability. And then Kurt, someone we've just seen so much film on, in the division, we played him three times last year, you know, home and away and then in the playoff game. And when he became available, um, you know, there's something about all the intangibles that he brings, both as a run player in the passing game and then also as a leader. So I think, uh, you know, they're, they're packages where we're playing all three of those guys, but we do have versatility and, uh, and those guys are working hard. Got about 90 seconds left. I'm not going to ask you about Minnesota because it's time to move on. I want to ask you how you moved on. Like, what did you yeah. do in the offseason to forget how that season ended and to focus on this one? Well, look, 
there's nothing wrong with still having that taste in our mouth. So you haven't moved on. Well, listen, I don't know that you'll move on ever. <laughs> you know, in, in our careers, you just hope when it's all said and done, you're on the, the better half of some of those games than the, than the bottom half of some of those games. And you typically, as a coach, remember the, the tough losses maybe more than you do the big wins. But because it drives you? Yeah, I mean, I think, look, fear of failure is a, is a big motivating factor in what we do as a player and as a coach. You know, fear of not doing well. I mean, that, that's one of the things that I think uh, uh, is a healthy motivating factor. But I, more importantly, looking at the dynamic of that game, we didn't play well early on. and we, The last half of that game, certainly, we came back. Um, I point to the third and one, you know, right before we kicked that field goal, we have a chance to get a yard and then take that clock down to three seconds, and that field goal is the last play of the game. Um, there were a number of plays, but I think that taste has is, 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 is got a health, healthy spot for us to linger on it. You know, and there's an old saying, you know, it won't taste good, but it'll go down. Hmm. <laughs> to prove them right, potentially this year, the people that are saying this team is poised to make a run at the Super Bowl. Sean Payton, will you please go get some dry clothes? <laughs> Man. They say not to stay in these too long. <laughs> <laughs> these lights feel kind of warm. <laughs> Thanks, Especially Coach. after the All heat. All right, next week, uh, Tigers will be practicing. When we're here with Tigers Roar, we'll have lots of good stuff for you. And as we said a little bit earlier, Pelican Broadcast has got a major announcement about a great new place to listen to music, watch games, family, fun, the whole bit. Watch We're going to tell you all about that. Uh, TV, radio, I mean, it's going to be a, a mega story in Baton Rouge coming very, very soon. And we'll let you know more about that in the near future. Hey, uh, appreciate Mike Scarborough and good luck with TigerBait.com. Mike, Brian used to join us. Mike's been joining us for the last couple of years. TigerBait.com, it's all new and improved. want you to go check it out. All right, it takes a lot of people here at Pelican to put this show together. We appreciate everybody's hard work. Mr. Jordy Holberg, I'm Tommy Price. And most importantly, we appreciate you watching. Spread the roar about Tiger's roar. We'll talk to you again next week. August is here. Football's here. Let's go. time to find out the truth about health insurance. True or false? I can't get health insurance because I missed the open enrollment period. False. If you had a life change such as moving, getting married, having a child or a job loss, you are eligible to buy a new policy. I don't have a life changing event, so I can't get health insurance. False. You can purchase affordable short term policies even if it's not open enrollment. I have to spend hours shopping around for an insurance policy that's right for me. False. Call Healthcare will connect you with licensed agents that do the work for you, comparing hundreds of options, making sure you get a policy that fits all your needs at the best price. Call now and we'll connect you to a licensed agent that will answer all your questions. The call and the service are free, so what are you waiting for? Call Healthcare, getting the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call now, representatives are standing by to assist you. Taste the feeling.